Sean. Pat and Shannon, right now, this is a request from a law firm about what exactly was done last week by the city and state when we had those heavy rains. Thousands of residents on the west side and the west suburbs were affected when those heavy rains fell. So much rain fell, in fact, that the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District had to reverse the flow of the Chicago River. That's the first time it has been done in the last three years. Now, some of this press conference today saying that the reversal caused water to not only back up into their homes and cause property damage, but also potential health problems. We had eight inches of rainwater, but eight inches of rainwater doesn't really cause a flood. But when you direct water to a certain location, it adds up. We have had over the last week pretty much historic, mm -hmm. uh, historic rainfall that caused damage that I believe rises to the level of devastation. Mm. And I say it's devastating because a lot of our seniors, a lot of our residents are in situations with water still in their basements, mm -hmm. with the loss of furniture, with the loss of memorabilia, with the loss of personal items, but more important, with health risks that's now a part of their daily living. Alderman Talia Ferro talking with the mayor's office now about using potentially some city uh, rainy day funds in order to get immediate help to those homeowners who are right now battling still some floodwaters in their basement. Uh, he is urging residents to file a report with 311 so they can get a tally of exactly how many homeowners have been impacted by this flooding for last week, then potentially getting some state and potentially federal help as well into these homes as soon as possible. That's the latest here live in the Austin neighborhood. Sean Lewis, WGN News. Not a mess. Thank you, Sean. The president of North.